Just imagine saying the night before on Instagram, everything about this place is shit. Imagine saying that on Instagram about Wolverhampton and you're going to play against Wolves. And imagine saying all of that and scoring a hat trick. <laughs> Respect. <laughs> Respect. That's what you call standing on business. That's what you call, bro, he walked the walk. He talked the talk and he walked the walk. Seriously, fair flipping play to Madawake. That was an outstanding performance. And Chelsea's attack, I can't lie to you. I'm scared. I'm actually scared because you know what? I said Chelsea will finish fifth this season. And everyone started to say, nah, it's not possible. Da -da -da -da. Bro, when you have that attack, anything is possible. You give me them attackers. I'm struggling right now. I've got Hoyland injured. I've got Anthony who's useless. I've got Sancho, which the managers are like. I've got all of these guys here. I've got Rashford, who's, who looks dusted right now. These men have got Madueke. They've got Jackson. They've got um, Jao Felix. They've got Cole Palmer. Pedro Neto. My word, even as bad as Mudrick is, yeah? Bro, he didn't play that bad in the first half. They've got that, that gooey kid on the bench. Bro, NSG, they've got options. They've got options. And they might even add us in, man. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. They might even add Victor Osimhen to all of this. Who's to say that they don't get Tony last minute? They want another striker. They want to add to this attack. And don't get me wrong, they've got defensive issues. But if they can outscore teams every time, Chelsea might be fun to watch this season. Chelsea generally, like honestly, objectively looking at you, they've got too much going forward, too much attacking rhythm to not be not working. And last week, everyone overreacted to that result against Man City. Yeah, they lost the game, but they actually didn't do too badly going forward. It's just that what happened, they didn't and weren't able to flip and find the back of the net. Jackson was not able to flip and find the back of the net. It is a madness. Generally, it is a madness. And Wolves, they were terrible today. Back line, they, the attack didn't deserve to lose today. But their back line was terrible. But Noni Madaweke, respect to you. You come out on Instagram. I tweeted it. I said, yo, you best perform, you know. Because if you don't perform, and the crowd were on top of him. The crowd were booing his name. They were absolutely giving dogs abuse. They were like, who are you talking about that? Who are you talking to us about Wolverhampton? How dare you? How dare you, fam, talk about Wolverhampton like that? And guess what they did? Guess what he did? He scored a hat trick. All the goals were different. The last goal was sensational. That Honestly, 1v1. And this is Don. Shout out to Don, by the way. Chelsea fan. He'd been talking about Donny by the way, 1v1. Bro, he kept isolating eight Nuri. Each and every time. And a right foot. He's not only got a left foot. He's got a right foot as well. But the game all started with Jackson scoring. Jackson, corner comes in. Wolves absolutely sleeping at the back, yeah? Jackson scores the first goal. Then you're like, wow, two minutes in. <laughs> hey, along. <laughs> I'm as a cancel right, right now. I'm as a end of stream. But then the Wolves fight back was absolutely outstanding. They cooked Chelsea for large parts of that game. They really, really did. They had a goal. They had chance after chance after chance. And they got their equaliser. Caicedo was terrible in that midfield. They kept losing the 50-50 battles. Then they equalised through Cunha, I believe. 1-1. But then they had chances. They had chances. They had chances. And then Chelsea go on the other end. And who steps up? Cole Palmer steps up because he does. Lifts it over the keeper. The keeper, by the way, is shocking, Jose Sarr. But he, listen, Cole Palmer, intelligence, sees the keeper off the line, digs it on top of him. Excellent. And you know what? For the first 30 minutes, I thought Cole Palmer wasn't really involved in the game. But that's what good players do, man. When they're not involved, all of a sudden, bang. 
goal. Next thing you know, the goal. Then Wolves equalised and deservedly equalised because they kept having chance after chances. They got the goal. Cross comes in. Strand Larson. I think it's his right foot. Boom. 2-2. Two, two. What a first half. But then second half happened. And the second half produced four goals from Chelsea. Two more from Madueke. Pedro Neto. Uh, sorry, um, Jal Felix. Absolutely outstanding. Outstanding, outstanding, outstanding. Like Chelsea today, I'll be rude, you guys. Chelsea today, unbelievable. Unbelievable. Man like Madueke, three goals. Cole Palmer, three assists. And then you bring on people like Joe Felix. That goal there, that last goal, was outstanding. Joe Pedro, sorry, um, Pedro Neto, on the left-hand side, the finish from Joe Felix is so, so hard to do because he's got a loft it and the speed and the accuracy. Oh, my days, fam. Like, I'm being mean, serious with you. I can come on this thing and hate. I could come on this thing and be like, cool, Chelsea defence needs working on. But when I objectively reflect on this game, Chelsea's attack today, they, they ate today nicely. They ate nicely today. And when it clicks, it can click. They have goals in their team. Defensively, there's a few issues. Levi Colwell, Fafana, there were 67s at the back today. Caicedo in that midfield. Lavia is so important. I repeat that. Lavia is so important. For this midfield but all in all if I'm a Chelsea fan there's a lot more positives and negatives there's a lot more things to look forward to there's more to to, to understand and to be like you know what Maresco get rid of the dead wood work on what we got and yeah if, listen I'm a United fan mate we're struggling for goals I don't know where the goals come from in this my United team but Chelsea when you got players like Nicholas Jackson giving assists Sorry, Cole Palmer giving assists like that. I mean, what are we doing here? And yeah, listen, Wolves attack. They did their job, even to a certain set midfield. But they gassed out. Ain't Nuri on a yellow card. It was dangerous. And ultimately, they got exposed. And Madawake, Madawake, talk about. People, not enough people in life do this. They don't stand on business. They don't walk the walk. They talk a lot of nonsense. They talk a lot of madness. They talk about this, that, the other. But you know what in the end? You know what in the end? These men do their job, fam. They do their job. You know them ones. They do their job. Guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye. Peace.